Hey guys, Josh Aravine here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, outside on just a beautiful day. And uh, I just had a fella, Tom from Ohio, come in, gave me a great idea for a video. He and I were having a conversation in our parts department, and uh, he's got a, uh, a Rockwood travel trailer, and it's got a couple of these like uh, generic key locks right here. So, you know, you, you maybe you just got a new camper. I don't know if it's your first one or your last one. And if you've got a little lock like this, well then congratulations. You're a member of the 751 Key Club, as we like to call it. You've got the exact same key on your baggage door as almost everybody else that goes camping. Now, the ones that have the slam latch baggage doors often have a different key, so that's handy. But chances are, if you got that little silvery lock, unless you exchanged it specifically for a different key lock set, you've got the same key as everyone else. And one of the things that I see people do with that all the time is, one, you're, you're really not gaining any security with that lock because the key is a generic key. You can walk into my shop for $4.99 and pick up the exact same key and get into most folks' uh, baggage doors. Um, the other thing I see people do is kind of like this. They won't lock this side because they get tired of monkeying with the key. So they'll only twist lock this side right here. The problem with doing that is that these doors are designed if you see two latches like this, it's designed to have compression in both locations to, to maintain a proper seal. So you're not really gaining security and you're not sealing the baggage door properly, especially in a case like this where this twist lock is on the front side of the trailer where the brunt of the wind and, the, and like, let's say you're towing in the rain, the brunt of the water in that exchange is going to actually hit the front side of the baggage door. And if this baggage door is popped out a little bit on the front, but not on the back, if it's jihad a little bit, technical term, well then, uh, it's going to catch water and kind of force water inside the baggage compartment. And, I, and seeing all the used campers that come in all the time, I can tell the ones that have had only one side or the other latched and locked properly. So what do you do? Is there anything you can do about it? And the answer is yes. And it's less than 10 bucks. What you do, if you want to, you now understand you you are you are going to give up a measure of security doing this in theory, but I think it's an easy thing to overcome. If you look at the back side of this, you're going to see that it's just a hex nut holding that on there. It's very simple to undo and take that off. You take a Phillips head screwdriver to take off the flappy doodle deluxe ten thousand, and then you uh, take a hex nut and you can literally just pop that right out of there. And then all you do is you just replace it with another twist lock. So suddenly now it's easier to get into. You are more inclined to properly seal and secure your baggage doors in transit. You are far less likely, likely to wear a key out on this thing. And again, I absolutely acknowledge in theory, you are giving up a measure of storage security doing this. That being said, these things are not fortresses. So at your own discretion, you might say, you know what? As long as I'm smart about what I put in here and how I pack that compartment, I would rather enjoy the everyday ease and convenience of getting in and out of it faster, easier, simpler than dealing with juggling keys around my, my waist or in my pocket the whole time. I'm tired of that. I just want to leave the keys hung up at the camper and be done with it. See, the thing is, I think a lot of people, if we're being honest with ourselves, they're probably leaving the keys hung up in the camper anyway. And like I said, the number of used RVs I've seen that have come in where this hasn't been properly used, it, it's pretty high. It's, it's more often than it's not. Very rarely do people come in who have actually carefully keyed locked every single thing the way they're supposed to. Camping is, these are recreational vehicles. The word recreation, fun, is part of it. This key system right here, not fun. These, not exactly fun, but not, not fun. So there you go. So again, at your own discretion, that might be one of those things where you can quickly, easily improve your day-to-day -day use and function of your camper. And it's just as easy to swap it right back. Don't throw the old parts away, keep them in a drawer. I and mean, if you ever need to or want to swap them out, swap them out. No harm, no foul. Try it for a week. If you don't like it, put it back. It's a $6.98 adventure. That's a pretty cheap uh, trial on something, I think. So with that, you know what else? Here's something else I'd love to learn. Leave us some comments in the video description. What are some other real simple camper modifications you've done to your camper that have you know, improved your day-to-day -day use and function? Some very low dollar homegrown solutions. I'd love to learn. I, I find that stuff fascinating. I just love learning about you guys. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.